You don't need much land or even garden space to produce your own fresh and healthy food. In fact, you can start a tiny garden just about anywhere, including in a box, in a plastic bottle, or even, as we'll see today, in a burlap sack. Throughout history, people have used tiny gardens as a means of food security, food justice, or just as a hobby to grow their own food. Tiny-gardens.org is a website exploring the many ways you can grow your own food in cities, apartments, front porches, sidewalks, or just about anywhere. These can be created for little to no money. Today we share with you easy steps to make your own garden and a reused burlap sack that we got from a local coffee roaster. This can all be done by people of all ages and all walks of life. As more people live in cities with less space to grow their own food, having a tiny garden is a great way to save money and be healthy, even if you live in some place where access to fresh food is limited. To start your burlap sack tiny garden, all you need are these simple things, soil and compost, a shovel, a knife or scissors, a burlap sack, water, seeds, and or plant starts. The main thing is to have fun. And remember, it's not an exact science and anybody can make one. Just don't get held up on the details. If you have a tarp, lay it out to mix the soil and compost together. If you don't have a tarp to mix on, then you can simply scoop directly into the sack, alternating soil with the compost. People usually do about half soil and half compost, but the exact proportions don't matter and it will vary depending on your soil's properties. If you aren't able to get compost, don't let this stop you and just use soil. You can make your tiny garden by yourself, but it's always more fun and less work to invite your friends or family to participate. Once it is finished, the bag will be quite heavy, so it helps if you can build it where it's going to stay. Think about how much sun and wind and rain it will get where you place your garden. You may also want to put a stake in the bag to secure it to a tree or rocks around its base to hold it in place. Occasionally, as you're filling up your sack, shake it so that the soil mix will settle into the bag completely and fill any gaps. This will also help to get the bag to stand up on its own. Fill the sack about half full and then add enough water with a hose or water can so that all of the soil is quite moist. Alternate adding soil and water layers until the bag is nearly filled to the very top. Once you fill the bag, water once more. If there is extra burlap, once you are done adding all of your soil mix, then the top of the bag can be rolled down to the level of the soil. And now you are ready to start planting. Grab your knife or scissors and make a horizontal cut a few inches up the bag, about the width of your hand. It is best to alternate where the cuts are in a zigzag shape so that the plants will be able to receive sunlight without being blocked by the others. But again, it's not an exact science. Yet, it does help to alternate where the cuts are and to leave room for them as they grow. Use your hand to stretch the bag so there is plenty of room for the plants. Once your holes are cut, add a bit more water. Baby plants, our starts as they're called, from a nursery or a friend's garden are the easiest ways to get going but you can also start with seeds. Place the plants vertically so they point up straight towards the sun. Gently move the soil so there is room for the roots to fit in comfortably without being squished and make sure that the roots are fully covered by the soil. If you want an easy to manage garden, plant something that will continue to produce throughout the season. Kale and lettuce can be harvested a few leaves at a time so that the plants will keep growing. It will depend on your climate and the time of the year as to which plants will work the best. Talk to your local nursery or check online for ideas. However, some plants that work well most places are strawberries, edible flowers like nasturtiums, Swiss chard, kale, salad greens like lettuce and mustard greens, bok choy, collard greens, peppers, and herbs like chives, parsley, cilantro, and mint. You can use a stake to let beans climb up or plant corn that can double as a place for the beans or peas to secure as they grow. Sunflowers add beauty and will attract pollinators like bees. Seeds work best on the top of the sack, but you can also experiment and put them in the slits along the sides. Playing and experimenting is part of the fun and adventure of your tiny garden. Once all your plants and seeds are in their new home, water abundantly. Enjoy the feeling and accomplishment 
from growing your own bounty and healthy food in your very own tiny garden. Share with friends how they can make their own and watch the tiny garden revolution grow.